morning everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really really well this is the first time i've been vlogging actually since christmas so i hope you had a lovely christmas and boxing day um this is actually the day after boxing day today so I did upload a little short of our Boxing Day, if you haven't seen that already. We had a really lovely day. We went to the rugby and saw some family and stuff. So that was really good. We had such a lovely Christmas day as well. The weather was so nice. We went for like a Christmas walk with the family. Now, like I said, it's the day after Boxing Day. So we are actually going on a couple of nights away. We're going to Bristol for a couple of nights. I'm getting ready now. So yeah, I've got a bit of a funny voice in the mornings because I've not been very well. I think we've all been ill over Christmas, honestly. And I've got like a cough. So it's like just one of those like tickly coughs that just won't go away what have you been up to how was your christmas i hope you had a lovely one i'm just gonna get ready now and then i'll be back with you when i'm done Okay, so my makeup is all done now and I thought what I would do now is because we're into you know the winter season we're well and truly into the winter season now I thought I'd do a little haul and show you some new clothes. I'm in need of some fresh wardrobe pieces and I've ordered some bits from Cupshe so as you know I've done a couple of hauls with Cupshe before and of course Cupshe is known for their swimwear they're amazing swimwear they even do matching kids swimwear but today I'm going to show you a few clothing items they've got because they also bring in clothing items for the seasons they've even got a party collection for new year's of course so i'm going to show you a few of the new items i've actually got this top on today which is from cup she as well it's so so nice such lovely quality i love a striped top so i've got this one on today because it's super comfortable and also if you'd like 15 percent off your cup sheet order on orders over 49 pounds then just use my code lisa p15 so that is my discount code for you today and now i'm going to show you a few of the items that i got a few of my favorite pieces right i'm going to start with this jacket so this jacket is so nice i love these types of jackets I've actually got one and it's, it went out of stock so, so long ago and every time I wear it, people always ask me where it's from but it's out of stock. So this one is a great new find and like I said, I'm really loving grey at the moment. So this has got grey, it's got that kind of brown tone and of course white, beautiful for winter but also a really good transitional piece for spring as well. So I thought that was a great layering piece. I went for a size medium in this one. Cups you have got a great review section so everyone writes their reviews, say what sizes they got and how it, the sizing came up for you know their their body shape and things so i find that really useful when i'm choosing my items but this is a jacket and i absolutely love it i feel like these colors work really well with my new hair color as well and i could not be happier with this such lovely quality it's got that kind of brushed cotton feel to it so it's really really soft and yeah i just really really like this one i also got this jumper in this gorgeous burnt orange color I love this kind of terracotta colour. And again, I feel like this is a good one for to go with my hair. I feel like this colour works really well. So it's just like a wide sleeve, long cardigan. Just a knitted cardigan in this gorgeous burnt orange colour. Very simple, again, perfect for layering. It's been a lot colder this winter and I know we've got like a cold spell coming. The layering up is of course essential, so I'm gonna be wearing this a lot, layered with a lot of outfits. The next knitted top that I got is this one and I feel like this is gonna be a favourite for a lot of you because it's that very oversized knit. This is just such a lovely top to wear with skinny jeans. You can wear your jacket over the top of it and layer it with a nice scarf, hat and all of that kind of stuff. And it's just a striped knitted jumper, but very oversized and it's not too thick either. So it's a really nice just like layering piece. So I love that one and it's just white and kind of that mocha color at the bottom there. Nice length as well, not too short. I don't like it when tops are too short. I like them to be a little bit longer, especially when they're oversized. I also picked up a couple of dresses because they've got some dresses on the website as well, like loads of dresses actually. And again, I went for this color, which we can see is a bit of a theme at the moment, but I really loved the ruche sleeves. I thought that was so pretty. It's a shorter dress. It's got that kind of rara effect to it at the bottom. Do you remember rara skirts? I used to wear them all the time. It's not a typical rara dress, but has got that and it's got the shirt waist as well. So it just nips you in at the waist a little bit, which I thought was really good. I also got this green dress, which I think is a really beautiful color at the moment. I love this kind of forest green. Again, a great transitional piece. You could wear this all year round. It's also got the big sleeves as well, but they're kind of sheer. So another shorter dress, but you could wear that with thick tights and boots in the winter, or you could just wear it with bare legs in the summer. 
I'm wearing that would look really pretty as well. Another knit that I got was this one and this is a really lovely one as well. I love the colour of it because it's that gorgeous raspberry red which I just think is such a pretty colour. On the camera it's showing up a little bit more red. In real life it's slightly more pink toned so it's a really pretty raspberry toned um, jumper with like the bat wing sleeves so that is a really nice easy one. It doesn't really look much um, as I lift it up but it's also shorter at the front and longer at the back this one so it's a nice one that you could tuck into jeans at the front and you're not going to have too much fabric so that's what I really like about this one and again really lovely quality and then finally another dress that I wanted to show you but this is a longer dress so this is a more of a midi dress I would say and it is black with flowers so again I feel like this one is a really pretty one for autumn but again you can wear it in the winter with tights boots it's just got those really pretty transitional colours in them with some cream and orange little flowers. Very nice, very flowy. That's the kind of type of dress that I like. Very forgiving. Um, but yeah, love all of those. So all of those are from Cupshe. Make sure you check them out if you haven't checked them out already. And definitely use my discount code LisaP15 for 15% off any orders over £49. So definitely check those out. Now what I've got to do is I need to get the boys all ready and I need to start packing for our little trip away. Right, so we're in Bristol now. We are off to bowling first, aren't we? Yeah. We got here last night. We're on holiday now. We're on holiday on our little city break. <laughs> <laughs> Mark keeps calling it a holiday. I keep calling it a city break. Three I think days. It's, it's a city break. It's a holiday. Loads planned today, we're actually. Busy going today. Really, Loads really planned. Busy. We got here last night. It was a bit of a palaver. It's a moment we should have filmed, but in the in the moment you just can't bring yourself. But it's to do so it. dark that you can't even film it. it wow, well, was... just for the what, what went on. It was for the just, memes. It was classic moments, wasn't it? So like there was loads of traffic, so our trip was delayed, like our arrival. Yeah. And then we needed to go get the boys dinner. We thought we'll, well go we, to you, pizza. Did, you were like looking on the maps. You did, you couldn't like, work out where pizza was because no. it wouldn't let you drive there. No. So when I'm, when you're driving, there's traffic, so you can't really look, can you? But then there's like a red light, so I looked, and it's in the mall of the shopping place. That's why yeah. you can't drive to it. So we had to park up, walk in, didn't we? Yeah. Walked in, shut. Back shut at out. five. <laughs> back back out. out, into the car, back over to the pub near the hotel. Where we said, should we go there? And then we were like, nah, let's yeah. go to Pizza Hut. Went back there, and then they weren't serving food anymore for like 15 minutes. Yeah. No, they only have 15 minutes left yeah, to serve yeah. food. Back in the car. Back to the other part where like the big cinema is mm. the view and that and then we went to like all of the different places frankie and benny's chiquitas chiquitos so tj fridays bella, bella italia, italia pizza express literally every restaurant everyone was fully booked it wasn't that they were fully booked they had tables free but they didn't have enough staff to yeah. look after the table so you weren't allowed to go in there so, we're so... walking around in the dark trying to find Burger. restaurants so we ended up in burger king <laughs> Well, Which is fine. A bit old, isn't uh, it? I did, yeah. So anyway, and new we had day. A good night's sleep, don't we? Fresh stuff. Yeah. Slept all right, didn't we? Mm, I got a bit of a bad back today. Mm. I slept well for me. Well, you always sleep well. Uh, so anyway, we're going bowling. Let's go. Let's start the day now. Let's start the day nicely. We've already had breakfast, haven't we? That was lovely. good breakfast, wasn't it? It was lovely actually. We stayed in the lovely. Premier Inn in Bristol in Cribs Cribs Causeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. And I sleep well. Land yeah, slept well. Orlando really slept well. well. <laughs> How's it feel? Hey. <laughs> Are you ready? Mini, how's it been? Aquarium. 
Yeah, we've made Aren't it. We? I've never been to this aquarium before. We made it. Look at these fish. Yeah, it does remind me of Dubai. What can you see? Wowzers, look at that. I like that. The bull hunts is very pretty, isn't it? Now we found one shark. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Then look at that yellow fish. Sure. Wow, this is well nice. Swimming about. Wow. Oh my gosh. Be careful, they sting, don't they? Look at their face. Hello. Look at that. Nice one. <laughs> right, we've just had lunch, haven't we, boys? Huh? We've just had lunch. Yeah. How was it? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Across another bridge. And now we're going to see Uncle Steve, Auntie Freddie, and Baby Olive. Your teeth are glowing green. Oh my god. <laughs> my teeth are green. Yeah, they are. Green, mate. Wowzers. Look how big the light is. Step four, enter the code. Three, Three two, two, four. Eight. Oh, it's opened it. Oh, the golden toilet. morning everyone so it is the next day now and yeah yesterday we went to wake the tiger I don't think I mentioned it when we were there but it was so good it's like a new um, amazement park that's what it's called and basically you go in there and they do a little bit of acting and they're like um, describing their new house developments and how they've created these new cool homes it was really really fun we walked through all these different places like they had like 26 rooms I think it was and it's got lots of mute like sounds lots of lights um secret passageways and all of that kind of stuff so the boys really enjoyed it if you're in Bristol I would recommend it it took us about an hour to walk through and you can go around again if you want to as like as many times as you want the boys are just watching tv at the minute but we're about to check out of the hotel and then we're going to go to Cribs Causeway and do a little bit of shopping go for some lunch and then soft play maybe and then home so yeah we've had a really lovely couple of days um it's still raining it's been raining the whole time but luckily everything that we've done has been inside so we've got away with it which is good we also went and saw Mark's brother yesterday and our niece which was really nice and yeah that was about it really so we've had a very busy couple of days but we're gonna go shopping now aren't we which the boys are Monday. extremely excited about <laughs> not it's been a lovely holiday actually lovely city break <laughs> It's been good. Not a holiday. It's nice because now it's so uh, it's like really broken out of the Christmas holidays now and there's not Dad, long left now. Yeah. Back to normal well, now. Yeah. We'll go fun first. Renzo had like a three course breakfast this morning. Did well, man, didn't he? Renz. Mm. We're all ready now, aren't we? Been a good holiday and now I'm ready to go home, now, aren't we? HM has just opened. You love HM, do I do oh, love HM. I actually really like this. Dr. Seuss vibes. It is a bit. Wait, they got loads of costumes in here, haven't they? These are baby clothes, boys. Don't need to be in here. Got the sales now in next. So much to, it's just almost too much to look through, isn't it? Yeah, these are the babies. Where are the other side? Yeah, I need them. Should get them for next year, really. 
really. I'll be thanking myself next year if I do that now. We need like age five, I would say, for Orlando. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, we've got those. We're in the toy section in John Lewis now. This is cool, isn't it? Look at these cars. Mini micro scooter. We're in the furniture section now in John Lewis. What do you think about a bit more of a jazzy sofa? A bit of colour? Yeah, I do like it. It's nice, isn't it? the walls, I suppose, don't you? I suppose so, yeah. Adds a bit of colour without going, like, crazy. Kitchens. I actually really love this colour. It's green. This is so nice. This is what I'd love. Yeah. But I would probably have it for like the microwave. We've got something bigger than this, can't we? But something like this, yeah. And you can have like a toaster in there and stuff. I think no to a white kitchen next time. Pretty though. Little bits, little bits and bobs. Oh, they've got nice kitchens in here. I never even thought of John Lewis. Like that black kitchen. Oh, yeah. Mind it? I don't think I like any of those. Like wood, yeah. What colour would you go for out of these? Kitchen doors. Kitchen doors, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. I'll go for black. I think I know, Mum. Yeah. Know. What would you go for? Oh. Ivory. Yeah, really? I think I would go for pebble. Let's go handles. Come on. What handles? What handles do you like, boys? What are you picking? I already know. What are you picking them? What would you go for, Renz? For, 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 for the door, for the door. Yeah, for the kitchen doors. Easy. What was you to pick? Uh, I would pick this one. Silver, chrome. I would pick, I would pick, I would pick these one. ones. Antique brass, I knew you would. Mom, I would pick and this you? One. I like the top one as well though, actually. <gasps> I seem to be making a habit of this and I keep putting the camera down and forgetting to pick it back up again. So here we are. I thought I would come on here and end the vlog with some homey updates and kind of what we plan to do in 2023. I'll probably do a full video on this but I wanted to talk you through one of the projects that we would like to focus on this year. I've still got my Christmassy mug. I forgot to put this one away with all the Christmas decorations but anyway it's cute. It's quite wintry isn't it? I love this one. This is one I got from HomeSense so so nice but anyway yeah we would like to do lots of different things i'd actually like to paint the living room which is the room that i'm in at the minute i don't know what color to go for i would like to add a darker color to the walls i'm not sure how dark we'll go with that but i would like to change the tone of the walls if you've got any like color suggestions for this room what you think would work really well in here then do let me know and also do you think it would work well if i did just the living room side in one color and left the dining room as it's kind of crisp white look so we've got a bit of contrast and it will kind of zone off this room or do we go for one color in the whole space i'm not really sure what to do um but yeah i definitely want to paint this room this year although i do get a bit nervous about the fireplace area and painting that because it's all new and i don't want to like ruin anything but you can take the beam off so that's really good so one of the projects i'd like to focus on this year is in the hallway and like the entrance and upstairs so it's quite a big like area to paint and decorate but i think we could really change that space up and make it feel a bit different so i'm going to show you that area right now okay so this is the entrance and like hallway we are still finishing these stairs we've still not got a bit down here which we need our carpenter to do we we just said we would do it after christmas because there's no rush but the stairs are looking amazing we've had the stair like carpet changed so that's all good now we're thinking of doing some paneling up the walls but i'm not really sure what style i have got a style in mind which is a little bit more intricate um so we could go with that but i'm not entirely sure and do we do the paneling all down here as well or do we just keep it on the stairs and all upstairs so i'm not really sure what to do i have no plans really for this area although i would like to change it up and because this is a darker part of the house it's not as dark if we were to have that door open and if that was the proper door the front door it's a lot lighter because we've got a window there but with that door it does like shut off a little bit of light so it does make it a little bit darker in here so because of that i feel like you can go slightly darker with the colors of the walls when you've already got a darker space you can definitely just go a bit darker with the walls and you don't have to try and lighten it with white it doesn't really work so we could go a little bit darker it's just depending on how brave i am with all of that we could change some more bits i really wanted to put a mirror here but we've got a mirror there so i'm not really sure how how that would work i just feel like this would be a good spot for outfit photos really that's just a personal 
choice and why I wanted it there. Although there is a space here where, where you could put a mirror also. So I'm not really sure where we could put a mirror, but I have seen people put mirrors here at the bottom of the stairs and that looks really nice as well. So we're definitely gonna move that picture and get rid of that one because I don't really think it works in the space and with our style anymore because we've had that for about 10 years, that picture that was from Laura Ashley. We could definitely reuse the frame and, you know, change out the picture that's in there or the print. But yeah, that's for another day. So this space here, I've already spoken about before. So the glass block wall is definitely gonna go. And what I would like to put in here is a kind of feature shelving area, which I just think would look really nice. So we're gonna have a built-in shelving space so we'll, we'll use some mdf put some architrave all the way around it to add some detail and then we can put some shelves in there probably three shelves i imagine and um probably a light as well so again for that shelving area we could either paint it white and go with the classic add some woods into it maybe or go really dark so there are loads of options here so i'm not really sure what we're going to do yet but i'm just putting my my ideas out there to you guys because you always come up with really great suggestions as well but i definitely feel like that would be a beautiful shelving and display area i have been looking on pinterest that is the best place when you're looking for specific design ideas and this was a design that I really loved so that's a little bit more simple no architrave around it and then you've got like the oak shelves which I think would work really nicely with the stairs here's another one that's got an arch as well I think we're going to stick with more of a rectangular shape just for because I think it'll be a little bit more timeless but I also do love the arch and if I could have an arch everywhere in the house I probably would but again I love the simplicity of this and I think it would work really well in this space so let me know what you think of that thought idea this is another photo that i've saved on pinterest just to give you an idea of the the kind of darkness of the paint i'd like to do on the walls i love this paneling as well but i'm not sure i don't know it would be quite a lot of effort but i think it would look really cool in here and really nice so yeah i love that color although i'm not sure what color to go for in here yet. one of my favorite recent pictures that i've saved on pinterest i feel like this area needs a whole change as well let me know what you think we should do with this area because it's got so much potential hasn't it it would be such a good if you needed a home office this would be a really lovely space to put like a home office we don't really need a home office so I feel like that would be wasted but I don't know what else we could do with that we don't need any extra storage or anything so mainly it's just going to be decorative so let me know what you think would work well here this is the year that we're changing all of our doors as well which we are still undecided on we're not sure what kind of door to go for whether we go for an oak door or if we stick with white or painted doors I'm not sure I mean longevity I feel like oak doors would be better especially with three children but I do love the brightness that a painted white door gives and if we're going to paint the space darker I feel like you need that extra brightness but I don't know um, the lights are definitely going to be changing. These are a little bit too blingy for me now. We've got two lights here as well, which we're going to change. These were from Laura Ashley. They're really pretty lights, but they just don't really go with my style anymore, as you can probably tell from this um, staircase and things. So our style has definitely changed a lot since we moved in. We've also got this area here, which can be changed up. I do love that mirror, so I feel like the mirror either has to stay or we need to reuse it somewhere else. So like this is definitely gonna stay, but we could paint it. Those are my thoughts so far up here. We are going to be paneling up here to kind of match whatever we plan to do on this side and then we'll continue it upstairs maybe or maybe we'll just continue with the color upstairs and then of course right up there we need a light because that is not really working so lots to think about in this space i feel like it's a really exciting space to be decorating and i can't wait to decorate it so let me know what you're thinking and if you've got any good ideas so i'm going to leave the video there guys thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video Bye guys. I saw you from across the room.